it's Christy and I am here with this shoe box for a girl 10 to 14 and let me show you what's inside oh first I just wanted to show you this beautiful scarf that I wanted to include but I wasn't able to get it in um, I thought maybe a scarf could fit in any shoe box even though it was all the way full but I tried it and I just couldn't get it in. So I'm sure the Lord has the perfect things planned for this girl. And I'm looking forward to show you, to showing you what's inside. So take this time, it's the first one this year that I have two rubber bands on it, but you'll see why it's a little bit bulging, but it should still fit in a carton fine. We like to use these standard size shoe boxes since um, it's just easier at the processing center. And then if all the children have a same, the same kind of box, they don't um, get jealous of each other's things. At least that's my, my thinking. So I like to use these standard Operation Christmas Child shoe boxes. So inside, well, I have this notebook that's folded over the top. And I have this disclaimer that I printed out from blessingsintheshoebox.com. If you go on our website, there's a lot of printables. And you can use, I'm sure, something on our website, blessingsintheshoebox.com, to help you make better shoe boxes. But I love including the disclaimer to make it easier on the people that are working in the processing center. So this says it includes nothing. There's nothing in here that's not allowed, like checks or... Uh, used and damaged items, no war-related items, etc. So that went right on top, and then they'll take this out at the processing center, and then I will show you everything that's in here. So she has, well, I'm going to start here at the top. She has a sewing kit in here, so I wanted to include these scissors for the material and this uh, piece of square flannel fabric for her to use for her sewing project. Hopefully she'll learn how to sew if she hasn't already. And here is her little plush. It has, it says bunny hug on the uh, tag in here. It's just a cute little bunny that she can put in her pocket that's really soft. So that's just like um, a hug, a bunny hug in a bag. So that's gonna go over here. I'm gonna pull out her calculator, which already has the battery in, in it, ready to go. And she has a few little things. I was filling up the spaces in the top here. So this is a, a clip for her hair, or she could put it on her shirt. Um, it's a really pretty little flower. And she has a tangram set. I made those, oh, much earlier in the year, so I could include them. I just love the creativity and the oh the colorfulness of these tangram sets and so i'm including those in all of my older kids boxes and then this was a beautiful sale item it's a really sparkly pin that i got at hobby lobby very special i think for a girl that that's this age it would probably to me this is a, one of the fanciest um, pins i've ever seen i would love to have it. it's very pretty and then she has, we're including sunglasses uh, in a little bag for all of our uh, shoe boxes. And it's just a fun thing that we're able to include. Um, I found these at a Walmart sale, I think in February. So I was able to get them for like 99 cents or $1.99, just a great deal. Here's her school supply scissors. I'll get those out. And then I don't think this is ready to come yet. So I'm going to get show you her Barbie. So I, in her this organza bag, I have this really pretty Barbie and I'm including this extra dress inside a fancy ball gown. And then she is so cute. I love her tennis shoes and her braids. It's a really cute Barbie that has the big hoop earrings, you may have seen it before. I just love her hair, and I think it'll be fun for a girl to play with. Oh, there's a necklace, and there's a pair of Barbie panties in here. It's nice that they're selling those this year. I don't know if, 
if you've seen them before, but I like including the Barbie panties. All right, so let's put her over here. That's really her wow toy. And then I'm gonna have to take out these beads, a tube of beads, and on top is an elastic so she can make um, a bracelet or a necklace out of that. She has a spiky ball. I love how those feel. They're a really nice sensory item. And then, plus we just like including a ball in every box. Oh, these are one of my favorite things. She has her dancing ribbon wand. It has the ribbons. Michelle made these. They're so fun for girls to use when they, they could be at church celebrating, dancing. They could be at home. It's a really fun, creative, uh, thing to use for to put in a shoebox for these girls who may have never had anything like this so that's her dancing ribbon wand and then here I I will try to take out everything from this wonderful water bottle this is an orange scrunchie I love the velvet scrunchie I'm including a lot of velvet scrunchies I just think they're they're texturally so nice and beautiful and they can use be used for more than just putting in your hair you can use them for a bracelet or putting them on your stuffed animal there's a lot of things that you can use those scrunchies for on top here let's see is oh there's a pair of earrings in here and a Oh, these are multiple bracelets. How many are in here? 10, 10 bracelets, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 little beaded stretchy bracelets. So that's kind of like a friendship bracelet that she can give um, to some friends. And oh goodness, my friend Lydia packed these for me and it is very full. She's good, she's an expert. All right, here's two bracelets. This is, it says, wild and free it's kind of a stretchy bracelet and this is another stretchy bracelet or hair tie could be either one uh, here's her toothbrush cover so i suppose it came off her toothbrush here's a stretchy rubber band bracelet and another bracelet here she has um, something for her hair here those are filling those top spots that you want to make sure um, you take every little space you take advantage of. She has her little bird whistle. I love these wooden whistles for the older girls. And then she has, I'll take out oh, her toothbrush, or maybe I will take out the spoon. I think I'll get the spoon next. Okay, so she has this nice spoon. Michelle should actually shared the link with me for those and here's her toothbrush i'm going to put the cap back on it right away there we go and some more jewelry this is a strand of beads and she has a clip for her hair i have a lot of these are little gems i have a lot of this is a little soccer ball fidget toy I keep them in a big bowl so that I can grab whatever size I need when I'm filling up these little nooks and crannies, little tiny spaces, these little, this is a tiny horse, but what a treasure, little gems that are going in the water bottle to fill it up so that there's extra joy coming out when she's looking at her whole shoe box. This is a graphite pencil, let's see here. I have a little organza bag here with another bracelet that has some beads in it and another little bracelet, a horse, or this actually does look like a mule. It has long uh, ears. Here's some special colorful socks. Wow, I can't imagine. I, I'm sure she won't take everything out at the shoebox packing event because it would go everywhere. That's a Sharpie. Here's some more school supplies in here. Pencils and pens and uh, another brown Sharpie. I see a mending kit in here and a pen. 
um, a big pink eraser, another little bracelet, stretchy bracelet. Here's a heart, um, a really soft heart plush that can go on her. I don't know if she has a backpack or a tote, but we'll see. There's some pencil sharpeners in here, a uh, silky, satiny, uh, what is this called? Hair uh, scrunchy. She has a plane, a jet, I mean a jet airplane sharpener, more sharpeners, pencil top erasers, and her hygiene kit with her nail clippers and nail files in there. Okay, wow, that's a lot of little gems to come out of one water bottle. So very special, I think, for a girl or a boy to have those little gems in their water bottle. This is a full-size notebook. It goes over the top nice and bendy. When I look for notebooks, they're definitely, that's a requirement for me. They have to be easily bent over. Here is her sewing kit that Michelle made. That's why I included those sewing scissors. And inside she has uh, bobbins of thread. She has these little thread scissors. She has the measuring tape, uh, pearl topped pins. She has, this is a needle threader, a beautiful butterfly, some needles and Oh, some beautiful buttons. I think I've got it all. Let's see. Oh, no, there's something else. A thimble. This is very well made, beautiful, giftable sewing kit. So thank you, Michelle, for making these. Oh, lovely for a girl to receive. Uh, here's her lip balm. It says, Faith does not make things easy, it makes them possible, Luke 137. And here, uh, what do you think is in here? This is her menstrual pads. So it has multiple patterns in here. They're all folded up and then I printed out the directions on cardstock from blessingsandissuebox.com on the printables page so that she would know how to wash and dry these uh, wonder this wonderful gift of these menstrual pads so those th there are six menstrual pads in there and those michelle posted the link for those um i got them not too long ago on our blessings in issue box facebook page i'm sure she has it on our regular blessings in issue box uh, uh website page if you want to look them up um they are, these are Lang Sprit, L-A-N-G-S-P-R-I-T, um, and they, it, they come with a bag. This is her shirt. I don't have a lot of shirts for the older girls, so not all the older girls will get a shirt. This one is a pretty yellow, kind of a scoop necked t-shirt. Um, and it just, I'm just so glad it fit in there. And then this is her tote bag. It rolls up really small because I wanted to fit a lot of things in the shoe box. And so this will help her, like similar to a backpack, carry all of her things home. Just, it folds up really nice um, and small. So I like including that and that goes on there. This is underwear. She has some underwear here all rolled up and her comb she has a compact mirror this one has a sticker on it that says we love because he first loved us and then it opens up with the mirror inside a lot of children have never seen their own reflection so that's something special to include in a shoe box and here is her pencil pouch inside her pencil pouch is um her pen and gear colored pencils, pre-sharpened, and there's 12 colors in there. And underneath, I see some stickers and a God's Love You. Oh, it's a sketch, pad, sketch pad, so it's blank paper inside there uh, so that they can draw and color with the colored pencils. And then there's also, this is the coloring book 
that you can print out on blessingsinissuebox.com. Same with the cover here. She has multiple coloring books available that you can mix and match on the website, blessingsinissuebox.com. I love the horses. Michelle and I both love horses. And then she has this special homemade fan that Michelle made and sent to me. I just love these. She's so creative. So that's a fun thing to include. And then I have this the flat things on the bottom, the bandana, beautiful color. She has her full size ruler in a diagonal and her soft washcloth cloth in a coral color. So that brings you to the end. You can see why I wasn't able to get in this scarf, um, but maybe when I'm putting everything back in somehow, miraculously some extra space will appear and if it does then i'll put this scarf in so let me know in your con in the comments below please tell me what you're packing for your 10 to 14 year old girls shoe boxes i love getting new ideas and let me know how many you're packing i know that this year is going to be a shortage of shoe boxes that's what i've heard so I'm trying to send as many as I can, and I hope you are too. So thank you for watching. God bless you. Bye for now.